Hey there, Newton here. I have been busy with my day job work these past few days, but I was still able to work on my game little by little every day. With that said, welcome to devlog number 4 of my roguelike game. Since the last devlog, I've been doing some tweaks and polish to the game. The tweaks included the player attack. Previously, I have 3 types of orbs. The normal orb, the seeker, and the scatter orb. Now, every orb can now be classified as projectile, guardian, and sentry. This means that a normal orb which damaged the enemy when it collided can now be a projectile spell which shoots the orb to where the character is facing, a guardian which orbits around the player, and a sentry spell where the character plants the orb. I also added color to the spell UI to differentiate them. Now this way, I can already have 3 different types of attack with just a single orb. This is a big win for me because I'm really running out of ideas for the orbs. Please send help. After adding the new spells, I wanted a way to tell the player which spell they are casting. The initial plan for this was to make a different kinds of hand gesture for the character. But this would take too much work for me to finish. Then I remember Hollow Knight. The player character doesn't show his arm when he attacks or when he walks. So, I borrowed this idea and ditched the hands. I added a cloak to the player. Then, to differentiate the attacks, I have created 3 types of spell circles. Now, when a projectile spell is cast, there will be a spell circle in front of them. Then, when casting a guardian spell, there will be a circle on the character. Then, for the sentry spells, there will be a circle cast on the foot of the player. Now, this makes the player know which spell they have cast. This also added some polish that makes the character feel like it's casting a spell rather than throwing drops. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ The last thing I did was adding more enemy. The first enemy I've added was a ghost enemy. This has the same behavior as a walking enemy, but it floats instead. And then I've added a slime enemy that bounces all around the stage. And then when it's killed, it will spawn two mini slime. Now it's a wrap for the recent update for my game and I'm so glad that I could share it with you guys. I was really worried that I won't be able to make a devlog this time but I was so glad that I was able to pull it off. I would greatly appreciate some feedback and suggestions from you guys so don't hesitate to comment down below. Until then, have fun making games and cheers! Now that's progress for today.